Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Tilly Player here. Welcome back to another video for you guys today. Welcome to a top 10, top 5 video. This is actually a top 5 video, which I have not done in quite a while now, but I really miss doing these. So make sure you guys comment down below once the video is done, of course, if you guys miss these videos and you want me to do more, more frequently. But anyways, today, you know, it's December. It's the last month of the year. We're getting ready for New Year's for 2019. So everyone is doing their top 5 and top 10s of 2018 stuff. And today I'm bringing to you guys the top 5 best WWE custom action figures of 2018 in my opinion. And again, I uh, just want to, you know, before we actually get into the list, I do want to point out that this is just my opinion. So please, uh, if you guys disagree with it, uh, just, you know, deal with it. And uh, just keep in mind that this is my opinion and that's just what I think. So without any further ado guys, that's just all I wanted to say. Let's go ahead and start with this top 5. Alright guys, well before we actually get into the actual top 5, I do want to say this was probably one of the hardest videos I've ever done because I went through all the customs on Instagram and I could only choose 5 to make it into my list. So therefore, I decided to do an honorable mentions. I am going to do some honorable mentions that I believe also deserve a, a shout out I guess. But yeah, here are the honorable mentions. The NWF's Custom Fantasy Attire Mexican Flag Andrade Cien Almas Jay Reigns Custom Switchblade Jay White Mad Reaper Studios Custom NXT TakeOver New Orleans Ricochet I really wanted to put this one on the top 5. The Custom Undisputed Era from NXT TakeOver War Games 2 made by Mac Decals this one was a hard one as well. It's the custom War Raiders made by Rocket Jabroni Customs. Ooh, this one I love it as well. It is the custom Finn Balor and his Demon King attire from SummerSlam 2018 made by BW Animations. Okay, okay, the last one. I know you guys are probably like, this is longer than the actual top 5 list. I promise this is the last one, but I had to include this. This is the custom IWGP World Heavyweight Championship made by Mad Reaper Studios. Look at that. I, I, I don't know how I didn't make the top 5, but it, it was so close to making it. Okay, now let's actually get onto the top 5. Okay guys, we are starting off this list hot. Like, look at this. We've got at number 5, a custom SummerSlam 2018 and his Thanos attire set Rollins made by Mac Decals. Like, Mac Decals has been killing it. I think this was one of his up and coming customizers in 2018. And this right here demonstrates his work. Like, look at his ability to capture the set Rollins. Not only did he make, in my opinion, the best SummerSlam 2018 set Rollins, but I also think, I believe, I'm not entirely sure, but I believe that he was the first one to attempt uh, making this. And not only was he the first one at making it, but he was the first one to accurately make a removable rubber jacket. It just, it looks accurate, like the, the exact same way he wore it that night at SummerSlam 2018. I love every single detail. I love the golden boot, I love the tights, and of course that, that custom rubber coat, it, it's awesome. It, really completes the figure and that's number five all right guys look i know what you guys are probably gonna say like this is cheating you know this is more than one custom this is just top five customs and that should be only five customs not a bunch but i have to like I have to keep them together they just go together and I'm talking about none other than the entire bullet club uh, made by Mad Reaper Studios not, not it's not the entire bullet club but you know the main bullet clubs the ones from the being the elite YouTube channel we've got the young bucks we've got Cody Rhodes we've got Marty Skrull Hangman Page and of course the cleaner Kenny Omega Mad Reaper Studios made all of these and I know I can't really put all of them together, but I wanted to keep all of them together. But if you guys are going to be like that and just make me choose one, then I'm going to have to go with all his Kenny Omegas. Mad Reaper Studios legit made like three or four, maybe even five different series of these bullet clubs. Like look at this picture right here. I challenge one of you guys to count them and tell me because I, I, I haven't counted them. But someone just pause the video right there and count them and comment down below how many there were because Mad Reaper is a crazy man. But in order to keep this list clean, I'm just gonna say the cleaner, 
no pun intended, but yeah, the cleaner is gonna be the one that I count as number four. Uh, all his Kenny Omegas, I can't choose between all his Kenny Omegas. Like, legit, every single Kenny Omega that Mad Reaper makes is amazing. It's perfect. There, You can go to his Instagram page and look at all his Kenny Omegas. There's n no, not one Kenny Omega that you will find with any errors or anything like that. I especially think that... Like his Kenny Omegas is his special specialty. There you go. Uh, I can't even speak English today. But yeah, uh, Mad Reaper, uh, he's like the king at making custom Kenny Omegas. He makes the best Kenny Omegas out there. Like look at this picture right here where he's got the face scans. Like every little detail that goes into that figure right there. Mad Reaper is a perfectionist and I really respect him for that. And that's why I believe he deserved a spot on this list with all his Kenny Omegas. Okay guys, at the number 3 spot we've got the NWF Buddy Murphy from WWE Super Showdown, their show in uh, Australia, which is from where Buddy Murphy is from. And uh, yeah, this was during his match against Cedric Alexander where he won the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And as you can see on the picture all the way to the left, he's got the Cruiserweight Championship and the Australian flag around his waist just like he came in that night and yeah it's just absolutely beautiful i have not seen anything more beautiful than that it's just so beautiful i really really wish it was part of my collection god i don't know how this dude made the shorts but those buddy murphy shorts look like they were super hard to make and he somehow made them absolutely perfect like it just looks like factory made it looks like mattel made this figure but it was not it was the nwf as you can see he's a freaking god he's an absolute beast and I can only imagine how hard them shorts were to make like he even posted on Instagram like on his story some work in progress pictures and it was just insane I couldn't believe how they made it and he somehow managed to make them exactly how Buddy Murphy wears them in real life and just the, the way those knee pads look underneath the shorts and the kick pads and just everything from head to toe this custom is, is awesome. Okay guys, well I'm pretty sure that you guys are all well aware that over the past few months, ever since Tommaso Ciampa started becoming popular, there has been a lot of Tommaso Ciampa customs out there on Instagram. Well, guess what guys, I present to you the one that started it all, BEW Animations Custom NXT TakeOver New Orleans Tommaso Ciampa. This custom right here is the greatest thing I've ever seen. It is the one that started all of the custom Tommaso Ciampas that you guys are seeing nowadays on Instagram. This custom by BW is the one that revolutionized the, the entire game. There's a reason for that. Just look at it. It is absolutely amazing. He even made a custom beard with actual hair. Not actual hair from humans or at least I don't think. But like actual real life like hair from a wig or something like that. I, I'm not entirely sure. You know what? I'm not even going to give you false facts. But he did make a bunch of videos over on his channel. A series uh, of videos which you guys can go watch on his channel. On how he made the step by step. So you guys can do the exact same thing. But like uh, ain't nobody going to do this ex step by step. Like there's no way anyone can replicate his work. His work is absolutely insane. It's out of this world. Look at that. The way he went in on the face scan. And did redid the skin tone. For it to match a lot better Tommaso Ciampa. And it definitely does. You can tell. Like every single body part that he used. Those like very ripped biceps and arms and then the wrist tape everything is just well put together it all fits it up it's all proportionate which makes this figure even better the Cesaro torso the old Tommaso Ciampa head from his first basic I think he really did a great job turning it into a heel 2018 updated Tommaso Ciampa head and then just the attire, it's all hand painted, which is the crazy part about this. And it's with, and it's the, also the reason why it's so high on my list is because it is all hand painted. Something about BW Animations, he's well known for that. He all his customs are hand painted. I can't, I couldn't believe it when I seen it. I just could not believe it, and I, I knew since I first seen it that this was gonna be one of the number one customs of the year and it definitely was it was number two on my list i unfortunately did put one above it but uh like I, it was so close it was like i don't know it was head to head i did not know which one to put over which one i decided to put this one at number two but it could very well be number one it's just absolutely amazing it's a masterpiece 
and that was number two. All right, guys. Well, finally coming in at number one on my list. What is the best custom, in my opinion, for the year of 2018? Here it is, guys. None other than the Velveteen Dream from NXT Takeover Chicago 2 in his Hulk Hogan slash Prince Puma attire. It, oh my God, this custom is insane, and it was made again by you guessed it, the NWF. Like. I'm telling you guys, the NWF, if you're not following him, if you're not like aware of him, go follow him on Instagram right now. Because he, in my opinion, this was his year. He is killing it. He's absolutely killing the game. He's making the best customs out here. He had like this recent 12 customs of Christmas or something like that. And he made like 12 different customs. This was part of his customs of Christmas series. And I, th I believe this was the best one yet. The best custom he's ever made, in my opinion. Like he makes awesome customs and i think this one was the best one he also made another velveteen dream from his match against cassius ono that takeover which i don't even remember because that match wasn't really that great but the attire looks great and that attire came out good as well but i do believe this velveteen dream from takeover chicago 2 was the best one out of the two like just look at it all his accessories everything from head to toe it, it, it's just perfect the the height of the figure and the body parts he used as well the torso the face everything i don't know how he made an r-truth face look like velveteen dream but he did it like the, even the hairstyle you can see the hair through the bandana that he's wearing his braids or whatever he's wearing like yeah velveteen dream this custom is awesome like i don't know how he made this yellow pop out but working with a yellow is not that easy i have not tried it because i'm like a little bit scared like no probably i know working with white is the same thing as working with a jello paint and i feel like I, I i believe he painted this it was not decals it was more hand painted yeah uh it's just awesome i don't know how he did that with the yellow uh, paint also how did he make those glasses the velveteen dream glasses with the third eye on top oh my god like his ring gear as well he made it he made it the ring gear and without his ring gear his attire like this custom is incredible it's absolutely insane like love at first sight that's what i felt love at first sight as soon as i seen it i was like holy shit and i never say that like i i, I don't curse but like it made me say say it out loud holy shit this custom is sick af and it really was even the boots the little detail on the boots how they make those flaps the white flaps on uh, like outside the boots oh my god everything about this figure is amazing and that's why this velveteen dream from takeover chicago 2 is the number one on my list